Welcome to Client Attraction System Made Easy. And if you are a business owner or you're thinking about running your business, you know that your business cannot exist without clients. So let's have a look how we can attract your ideal customer. This video was made in the end of 2019. And usually what happened in the beginning of the year, we are full of hopes, we are full of determination that this year is going to be different. And 2020 is approaching and I think you are starting looking into what 2020 will bring to you. But when the year ends, we have evaluation process uh, happening and sometimes it feels that we haven't achieved everything that we wanted to achieve and possible reasons why you may not have desired results in your business yet is you haven't implemented all the things that you have learned and this is the tendency if you keep knowing what needs to be done in your business but you don't take action nothing will change and when I talk with business owners a lot of people keep saying that yes I know I need to be doing more of this yes I need to show up consistently yes I need to create videos more but this is just the conversation that keeps happening they know what they need to be doing they have uh, taken so many courses but they don't move into an action and when there is no action there is no change another reason why you haven't got your desired results yet you know that you need systems in your business but you have no clue where to start and in this video i will cover how you can start systemized your client approach and i will show you step by step depending where you are in your business what you need to focus on in the first place you spend tons of time on different social media platforms without knowing what actually works social media is not a topic of this particular video but I will give you some recommendations that will remove this frustration around social media. And um, because social media is changing all the time, it, it is frustrating and it may feel overwhelming. But when you know which social media platform to choose and what activities to do, you're not affected by those changes. Today we will cover business success formula and also what client attraction strategy to use depending on your business situation. And you can create your own system in attracting your ideal customer. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Inga Dexner and it's my mission to help you make your business more profitable and enjoyable. If you don't enjoy running your business, there is no point how much money you make. I have two grown-up kids, 23 and 20 years old. Even though they're grown up, they're still my babies, but uh, at this stage, I can um, seek advice, I can get support from them, so it's really exciting. I'm currently living in London, but I came from a small country in the Baltic Sea, uh, Latvia. And I've been living in uh, London for 11 years now, and I really love, and I moved to London because I fall in love with city and I have unconditional love towards London. So, talking about business success formula, as we covered before, your business success is determined whether you have customers. So, in order to have customers, the first step or the first element of business formula is to have clarity. And it's a crucial element of your business success. You need to know what is your current situation? What are the main aspects of your current situations? And what steps you need to take in order to move to the next level? And depending at which stage in your business you are, 
what kind of client approach would be most efficient in your situation. You don't need funnels or launch blueprints and we are not going to cover it today. But if you don't have clarity about the fundamentals of your business, no matter what blueprint of a successful business funnel you follow, it won't work for you. And let's say if you are at the idea stage of your business, usually it's uh, happening when you just start thinking of having your own business, you are currently employed, or you want to introduce a new product or service in your current business, or you want to start a new direction, um, in your business. So what would be action steps? You explore possible directions, you understand your why, especially when you want to move from being employed to having your business. But even when you start your new business or your new business direction, you need to have a clear understanding why you want to do it. These categories of stages of your business, they are not set in stone, there are no particular rules. They can last for years, they can last just a couple of days. It, it just to see what you can do or what would be the most efficient activities depending which stage you approach. So when you are at the ideal level, uh, income generation is optional. You may hit the jackpot and your idea can bring you money overnight, so to speak but usually it will take time. So if, if giving illustration of my own business, for me, idea level lasted about three years. When I was thinking about having my own business, I had a corporate job. I decided that I want to do coaching and got certified. And uh, I started using social media to attract coaching customers. But at that time, while I mentioned oh, that income generation is optional, I was, while I was getting my coaching certification, I was uh, giving coaching for free because I needed to have experience. And in 2012, I got my first social media customer. Um, it happened by accident. Um, I, as I said, I was focusing on coaching business. But it happens that my passion towards social media resulted in um, getting my first uh, social media client. At that time, in 12, 2012, I still had my corporate job and I was thinking about running my own business. In 2019, I have my social media and business consultancy business, but I thought about new direction and idea came to run a live event which I've never done before and it was Magical Creators live event and the idea came in 2019 and also so it didn't take me several years this time uh, this idea was implemented the same year just to give you illustrations that it can be when you transition from your employment and you contemplating idea of running your business or it can be uh, your existing business plus a new direction what kind of client ap attraction approach you can use uh, at this stage it's great to go to networking events because it's important to build relationships you can you uh, offer free or reduced cost offers with magical creators live event i offered super low uh, tickets because it was my like brand new event. I never run event before. Nobody knew whether it's going to be successful, whether it's going to be valuable. That's why to minimize risk and uh, encourage people to uh, come to the event, the, the tickets were a uh, super reduced price. And at this time, so you build your foundation, you collect testimonials, even if you give away your services for free, you need to start collecting testimonials. So when you start charging, you have a, a proof. And for me, it was important as well with Magical Creators Live event. When I was promoting first events, there is no testimonials whatsoever. Now, after done it, 
I have collected video and written testimonial. And you use social media for interaction, not for broadcasting. Like, don't focus that social media need to bring your customers. You use it to build a relationship. And also, while you're talking to people, while you are working with people, you can start gathering ideas for a lead magnet, which is for um, building your email marketing system and you can start building your email list at this point already but I would say do a mini research first to understand what people is looking for and then we are moving to a next stage so transition is when you're thinking of moving to a new level either from employment to running your business on a full-time basis or you moving to a new level in your business and actions at this stage you have increased focus uh, on business you have more clarity about niche and customer avatar and income generation is supplemental so if if we take a linear approach so when you have uh, your day job and you start doing business on the side you start making money uh, as a supplemental income but it still uh, is not replacing your main income and for me the stage lasted about two years so my first idea is that i want to move away from uh, corporate job was end of 2012 uh, it took me 18 months to actually transition but this is so the transitioning started from from the day when I decided okay I want to leave my corporate job and I want to have my business and I started focusing solely on social media services I chose Facebook as my niche and I become known as a Facebook expert I also created my first online course. If we look at my current situation with Magical Creators Live, so after I've done one day event, I started thinking about a Magical Creators Live two day event in 2020. And if you can see, my transition lasted the first case for two years. So this transition was within a month so after i've done first event the decision was made that i want to do a two-day event uh, in this at this stage so you at this stage you need to be consistent on your social media but choose one platform use one platform that excites you the most and learn about it and show up consistently you start building your email list so especially if you um, still at, at, at your day job but you start building your email list you start having sales conversations talking to people inviting them to sign up with you uh, start creating referral systems is reach out to your past customers maybe people who you served in the past for free can refer you to new paying customers and at core of this is relationship building throughout all the stages you need to build relationships this is the main thing um, networking events is one of the things that can help you with this as well and then we move to a leap of faith stage when if transition is more of a um, contemplating process then leap of faith is when you actually transition when you move to this next level and your leap of faith can happen when you also recover from a major setback so if you started a new idea or you you maybe wanted to launch new product or services and it didn't work out or it may be when you went through a successful period everything worked and then suddenly everything crashed it happens in business there is never going up line of success it's always as a roller coaster uh, yesterday you f felt always the moon and today something happened and um, you know it seems that everything is going down and you need to go back and find a job 
so it happens but when you are at the leap of faith stage oh, you need also invest in yourself so seek for seek for a mentor seek for um, a course or a coach that would propel you towards taking that leap of faith and at this point you need to be in no doubt zone when you focus on your dream when you know that you are going to come back from your major setback this is this period when you cannot entertain doubts remember you're not given dreams without being able to implement them so use it as a mantra and find new opportunities so you have laser focus on your business knowing that you're going to succeed and focus on money generating activities so when you are in a leap of face mode uh, doing a research is not the right time you need to take actions and at this point income generation becomes your main source and it happens one of the examples it happens when you go from having a day job to 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 becoming a full-time entrepreneur and for me it happened in 2014 i left my job on 30th of june 2014 was my last day in my corporate job and this was my leap of faith into full-time business i didn't have savings it just happens that uh, I needed to take this leap of faith and move into full-time entrepreneurship. I improved my sales skills. I started selling for other entrepreneurs. I made over 100,000 in sales for, for one of my mentors. And 2015 was my year of success. Uh, it was the year when I was making around 8,000 a month and it felt so too good to be true that I got scared and I went from no doubt zone, I went into what if it doesn't work, what if it, it was a fluke and I started doubting myself. As a result, I failed. So it was the time in 2016 that nothing worked in my business like I was completely broke I was even served a notice that I may be evicted so my business went down crashing it's only because I entered that uh, doubt zone but at the same time it helped me to rebuild myself so it opened me to finding a meditation finding um, time to go deep inside and conquering my doubts conquering my fear I created magical creators membership group that was intuition led inspired activity and I started using intuition as a marketing and business tool when I was guided what type of emails to write what type of programs to create when you have a leap of face stage stage of your business your client attraction approach is around making offers doing a lot of sales conversations building collaborations when you don't just build uh, relationships but building on that foundations that you did in the past you start collaborating with people you still uh, attend networking events you rely on your email list building but you use only those approaches that convert clients quickly and this is how you decide okay if i go to networking event and i come back with um, signing up a client um, it means that you need to go more networking events i knew that when i did a talk at networking events i went away at least with three clients so i increased the level of talks that i i was giving so if you need to if you know that every time you send your email list you get sales so you start focusing more on email marketing and then after leap of faith we move into growth so 
when you transition from having you the idea of running your business when your business was your side hustle and you fully transition in full-time entrepreneurship and you are growing so you need to have a team even um, if you are not in a position to hire your own team but you need to understand if you want to expand if you want to grow you need to start thinking about having a team at least you need to start automated system or systemize your approach um, across your business it needs to be a mindset shift uh, and it will help you with lying on other people when you know that you don't need to do all your work yourself and collaboration um, at this time so you can't do you can't grow alone so focus when you are in growing stage of your business focus on your mindset expansion create systems building a team and income generation it, at this point yes your business is your main source but you start creating additional income streams for me the growth started after my major crash and it's still ongoing i'm growing and i created my own systems i've discovered that i can't follow the blueprints i used a blend of intuition and knowledge in creating my own system and also helping my clients to find the unique ways to run their business and that's why i created the client attraction roadmap uh, showing how business owners can tap into their intuition and how they can craft systems that work for them. You need to start doing your automated email marketing when it's not that every time you need to sit down and craft your email. It needs to be more batched, more systemized. Uh, and you have multiple e lead magnets so you grow your uh, email list you need to have content calendar so and promotional calendar so if you want to grow you need to have your approach systemized and you if you want to grow you need to start thinking about affiliate marketing or you can become affiliate to someone else in order to multiple your uh, revenue streams now um, when we move to legacy so when you when it's not just you as a solopreneur but you start building your business that uh, creates impact it's where you explore your leadership skills you create businesses and income generation is it becomes multiple income streams and when we talk about legacy it's about envisioning is having your vision and working from your vision it's not just you um, doing odd job serving clients it's about how to create impact you have to have team at this point and when you just start your business even if you are at the idea level even if you just contemplating it would be great to have my own business you need to focus on your overall legacy what you want to achieve in in the long term so legacy should be your main focus even if you just start uh, out um, as a service provider when you're working one-on-one -on -one. but you know that with what you do you will leave um, a legacy behind you and when you are at the legacy building stage is the same as growth plus you introduce more delegation teamwork and affiliate collaboration when you are at the legal legacy stage your business can run without you so let's come back to business success formula and we have clarity and clients so what are other elements and they are competent and this is where you develop your skills you become confident so the more skillful you are the confidence as a side product and you are committed so we looked at the clarity as a crucial element because it's a starting point 
you can't have confidence and commitment into some things that you don't know what you're doing and commitment is the key as well so you need to be committed to your ideas you need to be committed to your growth and then it will result in having clients and serving people so what i would recommend that you do next write down where you want to be in your business in three months time if it's still the end of the year beginning of 2020 maybe start thinking what you want to achieve in 2020 evaluate your current situation and decide what activities you are going to use either you start going to networking events and being intentional about it we invite uh, people to sales conversations uh, give more talks show up on a particular social media system and if you want to move to an, to next level uh, in your business uh, let's have a talk and I wanted to remind you that sometimes we are too close to our business and we have tried many approaches but nothing work and you don't know what your next steps are then you need to reach out to somebody it can be me you can go to your mentor or to uh, people who inspire you and have uh, this conversation ask they view on your business because they're not attached and it's great to talk to people who don't know you that well because they have this impartial vision um, on your of your business and I wanted I'm working on my legacy I want to help get clarity to people where they are in their business now and what steps they need to take in the next hundred days uh, to take business to the next level and if it's you I'm offering one coaching session for free to 100 people this is my project this is my personal challenge I want to see how I can impact 100 people by talking to them by working on their business strategy and for me it's another development in my skills so it's not that i'm just giving away my time for free it's my time of learning it's my time of going deeper and it's my time of up leveling my skills so it's a win-win situation if it's you please go to highimpacthappiness.com forward slash profit and book your conversation with me or if you know anyone who would benefit from this offer please forward them this link or maybe the whole presentation share this video with them let's have a conversation let's take your business to the next level let's create legacy together let's create impact together I'm really looking forward to having a conversation with you and I hope that it was useful and talk to you very soon. Bye for now.